look, you, you, you might have to be alone until you find a new tribe. You might have to move out of your country. You might have to move out of your state. You might have to move to a new city. You, whatever it's going to take for you to break up with that low vibrational energy that's not allowing you to completely embrace your life, you got to go. Because what did I tell you at the beginning of this? Everything in life is energy. So what agreements, what energy are we agreeing with? Are we going to agree to all of that? No, no, no. It's too much abundance. The question is, OK, what if I'm hating on myself? Well, the only reason you're hating on yourself is because you are repeating the thoughts in the voices that somebody else gave you. There is no human being that's born that says, let me hate on myself. That is a learned behavior. The beautiful thing about all learned behaviors is that we can unlearn them. The fact that you're hearing this today means that this is in alignment with you. So if you are a hater of yourself, please recognize that that is your old self. You have just transcended that. So you are no longer a hater of yourself. And when you break up with being a hater of yourself, what do you become? You become a lover of self. What's the consequence of self-love? Well, the consequence of self-love is that now you raise your vibration. What happens when you raise your vibration? What's the consequence of raising your vibration? Well, you raise your vibration and now your actions come from a heightened state of vibration. What's the consequences of moving from a heightened state of vibration? Now your behaviors will come from that heightened sense, that heightened state. Okay, what's the consequence of all behaviors? It's a lived experience. The consequence of all lived experience is your emotions. I got that from Joe Dispenza. That's my words combined with Joe Dispenza. So now, what are your emotions? Well, your emotions are, I want more of that, I want less of that. I want, I want to seek pleasure or seek desire or seek happiness, and I want to avoid pain. I want to avoid uh, discomfort or whatever it is. So now that I'm a lover of myself, that whole cycle just changed. You just raised your vibration. Now that I am no longer a hater of myself and I am a lover of myself, now I have just raised my vibration. You know what else is the consequence of raising your vibration? You instantly raise your boundaries. Once you raise your boundaries, what goes up? Your discipline goes up. Your self-love goes up. Your relationships go up. Why? Because now anything that's out of alignment with that vibration that you just increased, it fades away. You begin to say no to it. Your, your entire energy just changed by hearing these words. Do you understand me? Do not leave this and say, let me go back and listen to my haters. Let me go back and agree with my limitations. That time of your life is over. As of right now, anything out of alignment is over. You're releasing it. I need you to stay committed to yourself. I need you to stay committed to self-love. I need you to stay committed to your healing. Your healing is success. Your healing is your freedom. Nothing else is gonna give you freedom. Chasing money is not gonna give you freedom. Chasing healing will actually make it easier for you to make more money. It's interesting, but they don't tell you that. Chasing people is not it. Chase your self-love, chase your healing, chase your passions. And then the people will come into your life and they'll align with you at that vibration. I need you to stay committed to this. There's nothing more important than this work. They want you to play small, I want you to play big. My name is Sylvester Bignot the Third. If this is the first time that you saw me speak, consider hitting that follow button if you like this type of content. We'll keep it rolling. Hope you continue to free your energy.